All right. We should be live. The High Noon Hemp Show. Welcome, everybody. Myself, and through the magic of technology, Beach, chilling on Facebook, on the Hemptations Beach Facebook page. We'll be here every Wednesday, High Noon, hence the name, High Noon Hemp Show. It's facebook.com slash Hemptations. We're talking about all kinds of stuff. Uh, Beach, what's up? How you, how's it going? Uh, it's going well. I want to welcome everybody again uh, as my partner in crime over there on the other screen, Joe Claire, uh, a.k.a. Stoner Jesus, uh, said this is uh, the high noon hemp show um, coming to you live every high noon Wednesday for the next 12 weeks or so. Hopefully we can uh, we can sustain our, our 12 week sign on. Um, a, uh, you know, being the first show, I'll give you a little little backdrop on on me. Um, I opened Hemptations September first, nineteen ninety five. Had an original partner. Um, we have grown. I have grown at this point. The the stores themselves uh, into the um, largest location uh, or largest selection of hemp on the planet. Um, and so, uh, you know, that's 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 a little bit of the Hemptations. We also do Planet Everywhere, uh, which is the production company as well as the manufacturing company. And so, we do uh, we manufacture our own hemp goods, uh, high flyers, bandanas, just you know, mostly simple stuff, and what I like to call the uh, no sweat shop uh, here in Sharonville as well. Um, and we also have Tohi Spa which is down in Mount Adams, uh, opened up three years ago. Uh, and it is a all hemp spa. Um, and so, you know, you want to get a hold of Mary down at Tohi. Uh, if you want to get a hemp massage, uh, hemp linens, hemp oil, hemp, all that stuff. Although <laughs> the newest, uh, and she officially got a letter from, uh, the Ohio, uh, pharmacy board on this and I am going to as a teaser now uh, I will let you know that I am going to clarify the recent um, announcement by the MM, Ohio MMJ uh, pharmacy board uh, on the CB on their their CBD and, and their view on CBD uh, but that'll be a little bit later in the show uh, not too long uh, so hang in there on that um, and so, but that is actually affecting Tohi more <laughs> because she's a licensed massage therapist uh, than it's actually affecting us. And again, I will I will break that down as to how and why um, later. I know that that's probably the one thing most people will want to know about um, uh, to clarify is that CBD thing. Again, uh, first episode of the High Noon Hemp Show. I am Beach. Um, We've I'm talked Joe. about Hemptations, and he is Joe. Um, you know, we've talked about my background a little bit, and as we go along, I will, uh, you know, talk about the store and some of the history and trivia uh, that we've had over the years. Uh, it's been an interesting ride, going from uh, "What are you doing again?" to twenty-three years later. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, by the way, those of you watching on Facebook, you can like and comment and all that stuff. Invite friends to watch everything. If, if you like the show, make sure you like it. Share it with your friends because uh, Facebook is is weird sometimes with uh, who they show things to. So if you want to see it, you can go to Hemptations Beach. You go uh, to the following section. You can make sure that the posts from Hemptations Beach, you see them first in your news feed. You also, the more you like, the more they'll show you the page. It's all very wonderful technology and uh, social media related stuff. Uh, as Beach said, we're going to talk a lot about the stores. There was a big Labor Day sale just this past weekend. How'd that go, Beach? Oh, it went great. Um, you know, we uh, we uh, blew it away. Our customers really enjoy uh, the sales we have. Um, I think I mentioned it last week with our Facebook Live that, you know, if a store has a sale more than a couple times a year, then they're screwing you Monday through Friday <laughs> or whenever that sale's not happening. You know, we have a couple big sales a year. Obviously, the 420 to Earth Day sale is the biggest sale of the year. But uh, from September 1st, uh, like you said, which was the first day we opened in 1995 to Labor Day, uh, we have a storewide sale as well. It was short this year. Um, I know I saw <laughs> I saw one comment on Facebook um, 
about one of the customers had already enjoyed the sale twice and it was only Sunday. And so <laughs> uh, I'm, you know, that's, that's the kind of stuff I like to see because uh, you know, we don't, we don't mark ourselves up, mar- mark our stuff up a whole lot. Um, you know, we're not greedy. Um, and so, you know, to offer a discount to the customers and have them come in and enjoy that, uh, you know, that's what we're here for. If it wasn't for the customers, we still wouldn't be here. So uh, thank you customers uh, for all the years. That being said, uh, this is not a big commercial for <laughs> any of my stores. Um, I am here for the sole purpose of uh, educating on hemp. Uh, I will talk about products. Uh, one of the segments of the show will be discussing products uh, that we have in the stores, some of the stuff we've had for a while, some of the newer stuff, um, and then as in some other products that we don't carry uh, that are just out there um, that you know everybody can find anywhere because I do, uh, which is really what I do for the last 23 years plus. Um, I've been researching industrial hemp. And um, I have been uh, educating myself on all things hemp, including uh, the retail part of it. And so I do believe that I'm a pretty good source for those things. And if you watch enough of the episodes, I am sure that you will learn a lot uh, about the products that are out there, about industrial hemp itself and all the other good stuff. Absolutely. And uh, if you want to ask Beach anything variously uh, at various times throughout the week, I'll be posting on the all the Hemptations pages there's many of them, uh, one for each store. If you want to go check that out on uh, Facebook, I'll be posting on there. Ask Beach anything. You post questions in that, and we'll answer them all on this show to uh, the best of Beach's ability, obviously. I mean, if you're asking about, you know, aerospace or something like that, it may go a little less well than if you ask about hemp or CBD <laughs> or products. That's right, but I am stores. willing to take any questions. <laughs> I'm willing I have to many, take any questions. <laughs> I, have, I have six astrophysics questions just waiting for the end of the show, so you better get ready. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we should be able to fly right through them. Yeah. Uh, I know <laughs> we've got... Uh... be no problem. <laughs> yeah. Um, shout out to Connecticut. I know Connecticut's watching right now. Uh, awesome. And uh, some some locals are, are taking on, kicking on, so that's great to see everybody. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and jump into the uh, product spotlight, uh, so to speak. And so I'm going to try in every week to to key in to uh, a couple old old school products that we still carry, a couple new school products that we carry, maybe a personal product or so, which I, in fact, the one thing I forgot to do was grab the very first product um, that I ever bought. And so at some point or another, I'm going to run out and I'm going to let Joe uh, talk for a second and grab that. Um, but right now, sure. I want to talk about uh, Hempies, and that's Hempies uh, H E. H E M P Y apostrophe S. Yes. Um, they have been around almost as long as we have. They are uh, more on the fiber line of things. They do wallets, to backpacks, um, clothing, uh, some shorts, and, and such. Uh, they again have been around. I think they actually opened up in 1995 um, as well, possibly, and are still kicking it out on the West Coast. Um, a product, um, in fact, a little bit later, I'll, I'll show you, uh, how they, their products uh, are something that I use uh, on a semi-regular basis one way or another. Um, uh, because again, they're, they have, they put together a, a very good quality product. They have these little mini backpacks, um, uh, that our customers absolutely have loved over the years. Uh, their wallets, uh, are absolutely, uh, you know, 100% uh, well made, uh, you know, and, and and that's something that, again, over the years, I've allowed myself to, to pay attention to is, you know, the separate the good products from the bad products. And uh, most of the time, it's, you know, manufacturing or possibly using the wrong hemp in the wrong situation. Um, and so, uh, moving on to the next company who has also been around uh, all, just about as long as we have, if not as long as we have, are the Merry Hempsters. And they're uh, balms. They do mostly balms uh, from bump and bruise to cut and scratch, a uh, whole line of organic lip balm, as well as a whole line of vegan hemp balm. Um, hmm. And this is, uh, again, a product that we that I use almost every day. Here's the, a little bit of the hump, uh, the hemp cut and scrape 
I believe, uh, that's on my desk. Uh, and so again, you know, these are, uh, the muscle rub is probably one of the most popular products that they sell. They have a cool muscle rub and a hot muscle rub and, uh, they just blow it away. Uh, again, you know, most of these hemp companies, um, especially ones that have been around a long time are all about using, um, better products, better additives, better preservatives, better, better this, better that, uh, you know, a lot of their products go bad quicker, uh, even if it only has a six month shelf life. And that's the reason why is because it's, it doesn't have something in it. That's you know, some, uh, preservative or, um, um, some, something that doesn't need to be in it, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, and yeah. that's, that's another beauty of, of most of the hemp products there. Uh, so there's, there's the classic, there's the classic hemp companies for the week, hempies and, uh, the merry hempsters. And so I definitely want to put a shout out to them because, um, you know, without companies like them from the very beginning to offer us products to put on the shelf, because, you know, we were we were at a handful of products when we opened as far as what was available <laughs> compared to now where I can spend all day um, finding new products. Uh, and so, you know, that's that's it's continuing to be fulfilling and it's continuing to move forward. The hemp industry is continuing to move forward. And I'll discuss that uh, a little bit later in my news segment. Um, and so now I want to move on to some of the newer products. Uh, and of course, I want to include a CBD product in that. And that would be the QC Infusion, which is actually a local to Cincinnati company. And so they are uh, processing and, and, and whatnot uh, locally, distributing locally, um, using some of the purest uh, testing to make sure that their end product is uh, clean from from any type of chemicals that that may have crossed uh, the CBD from the time that it you know from the time it was the plant to the extraction all the way through the process, uh, they do tinctures. Uh, we use the tinctures. I, I personally use the tinctures. We also use uh, their tinctures on our hundred pound Doberman Pinscher when she gets uh when the lightning hits and she you know nothing like a hundred pounds scared is heck dog um we give her some cbd uh right right to her and you know 99 percent of the time that calms her right down and so i will attest personally uh a to their product and to the quality of that uh there are one two three four cans of their seltzer that I've already finished within arm's reach on my <laughs> desk. Uh, and so, you know, I can do this and I can tell you, uh, this is empty. Um, it's delicious. And I usually enjoy a can of that, uh, a day at least. Uh, and, and again, they, they're using all natural flavoring. Uh, their, their flavoring in their seltzer water is very mild. Uh, but you know, very good, uh, because again, it's a, it's a, they're using a clean sources and smart sources, uh, and, 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 and the best ways to do it, uh, in my opinion. And, and so, you know, Queen City Fusion, again, local company, uh, we can't keep their tinctures in stock, uh, because it is that good. Uh, they are that good. Um, and again, all these companies are online. You can go to their website. Uh, you can go to Hempy's website. You can go to the Mary Hempster's website, I'm sure, and get more information on those products. We have them here. I'm sure they'd be happy to ship them to you uh, wherever you live in the world. And so um, I would advise, uh, you know, doing that. And the last uh, but not least, I should say, uh, the Mary Jane's Cousin uh, Foods product. Um, these guys are uh, out of Michigan. Uh, so I, I consider them to be semi-local and been around for a while. Uh, they do like pre-mixes. So you can do like a, uh, a um, no-bake protein bar mix. They have a, uh, I think they call it flapjack hemp flapjack mix uh, and, and some other um, food products um, that you can um you know, put, add into your diet. Um, as far as the food goes, and this is probably the, the biggest reason that I recommend anyone buying hemp products is the food product. You've got uh, protein that is comparable to uh, soy. 
with a more digestible trait to the humans, I have, uh, I believe. And you also have omega sixes, omega threes. The rumor has it that industrial hemp, I shouldn't say rumor, it's scientifically been proven that uh, hemp food seed has. Uh, the perfect ratio of omega six to three, I think it's four to one or three to one. I don't know it, but it's, they're supposed to have the perfect ratio. Uh, if you eat the whole seed, if it's a whole seed product, you're talking about uh, a fair amount of fiber uh, added to your diet as well. And there are uh, hemp food products in every grocery store. Uh, you may have yeah. to look a little close, uh, a little closely, um, but. You know, one thing that we have seen, and this is uh, something that, you know, 10 years ago, probably the HIA, the uh, Hemp Industries Association, actually had to sue the DEA to clarify. The DEA wanted hemp products to say 0.00% THC. Okay. And the fact of the matter is, is there's not 0, 0.00 of a lot of things <laughs> in food product that you don't want to know about. Um, and so the fact that, that they were asking for that 0, 0.0 when you can have, uh, you know, points per million of, some, once again, stuff you don't want to know about in the food, and that's acceptable. Uh, they uh, HIA won, and that opened up the hemp food industry uh, to just kind of really start hitting the shelves mainstream most of that seed at the time was coming from canada uh, which is still the truth of it and so most of the hemp seed for food is being predominantly in canada uh, that being said we are growing in the united states and have been for four years now since the 2014 three years four years since the 2014 farm bill uh, section 7606 allowed um, farmers in states that legalize industrial hemp to do such uh, through the Department of Agriculture or a school of higher learning. Now, I want everyone to remember that because that's going to be brought up later. Um, and there are no tests except for maybe me. I may take a <laughs> test or two. I won't test you. Uh, but that will not be the first time that I mention uh, Section 7606 of the 2014 Farm bill. We Just have write food it down product anyway. on the shelf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just take a note. Just write it down. No, you want to know it. <laughs> um, uh, we are, uh, in fact, selling product that was grown uh, mostly Kentucky uh, hemp, um, grown in, in Kentucky, processed in Kentucky, and then put on the shelves here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, uh, we also have a store in Dayton, uh, if, if anybody is uh, keeping track. So three stores in Cincinnati, one in Dayton, uh, as well as Tohe and all the other stuff. Um, Hemptations.com, of course, locations, get directions, maps, all that stuff. It's awesome It's stuff. true. It's true. All right. I am going to take a... Whoa. There went the mic. <laughs> that mic is not working now. Whatever just happened, it is. Uh, How about now? Is it there? Uh, it is. It's worth it. Okay. There uh, if, if for anyone who's, if anyone is following <laughs> <laughs> Joe and I's uh, <laughs> video patterns, audio patterns, you will know that we will have mic problems in every episode of the show. <laughs> uh, I'm glad that we actually got it out of the way <laughs> at that point. Um, I'm but, just glad there okay, been any I'm major here. tech problems. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So, Joe, you can run a little commercial or something, and I will, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was expecting major technical problems with anything of, with, that, is, that is this level. I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on, a lot of graphics. But I want to thank all of you checking us out on Facebook. We have more show to go. we got got Ask Beach Anything coming up. We have some news segments, a news talk. We have a very uh, interesting and, and, and much-anticipated segment about what Beach is wearing that's coming up as well. Share, like, comment. Uh, Andrew, I see you there. Angela, Kristen, thanks everybody for commenting. As I said, throughout the week, I'll have Ask Me Anything threads on Facebook. Uh, you can put, post questions in there, and we'll answer them at the end of the show. Uh, Beach will answer. As I said, to the best of his ability, you want to throw him some curveballs and, and ask him some really tough questions. We'll see what we can do. But uh, <laughs> until then, uh, <laughs> just watch out for those threads on Facebook and thanks everybody for liking it and commenting and all that beach 
has returned. Did everything go well? I have returned. It did. It did. I knew exactly where it was. <laughs> uh, I just didn't grab it earlier. Um, this is a little bit of uh, some trivia that uh, that I will uh, ask. This is the first hemp product that I ever bought. Let me put it up here. So this little bag, you know, your traditional little uh, little hemp bag, clearly marked hemp. Got a couple little zippers on it. If anyone out there, and of course, you know, there's only a couple people watching. If anybody out there could guess where I got this, that did that I didn't tell personally. I, I mean, I can't even imagine how much that would be worth, because you would have to be psychic. <laughs> no, I'm give you. Uh, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds to think about it. Uh, the first clue to where I bought this, and this was. Early 90s, uh, I was not out of college yet, um, uh, and, and so I was out with my friends. We were enjoying our time at a local amusement park um, mm. when uh, I was, uh, was just wandering, wandering, wandering through the leather shop, wandering <laughs> through the leather shop at the local amusement park, early 90s. And it's like, I don't know, it's, you know, I mean, I don't believe in any of these things, but if, if a bag could call to someone and say, come to me, this bag did. <laughs> this bag was in the back corner of this shop. I, I feel like if it wasn't a major amusement park, uh, it would have been like dimly lit corner, you know, stuff that's <laughs> been around for 100 years. Uh, it was well lit, uh, of course, um, but it drew me to the back wall. And there it was, man, this this couple of racks of these hemp bags and that was at king's island it was at king's island in the early 90s at the leather shop so there you have it folks beaches very first hemp purchase was made <laughs> at king's island in the leather shop which no longer exists by the way i think it's like a restaurant now or something if the last time i was out there what used to be the leather shop where i bought my <laughs> first hemp product is now a restaurant which is ironic because uh, the Hemptations in Oxford, which is now closed, is a restaurant. But anyway, uh, and so that's it. Uh, that's the first piece of trivia that I'm going to give everybody out there. Maybe at the end of the year, uh, I might. Yeah, we'll be on know, the test. Episode 12. Um, when, when, the, when the Facebook, I should have a lot more people on that Facebook now. Um, <laughs> when, that, when that happens, you guys will know. Everybody that's out there now will know. Um, and so there, there you have it, folks. That is the uh, product spotlight of the day. Uh, once again, Hempies and uh, Mary Hempsters, the two classic companies that I've been dealing with for, for a long time. Uh, QC Infusion, the local guys that are just killing it out there. Uh, you'll see their seltzer water uh, popping up everywhere, I'm sure, at the very least. Uh, and Mary Jane's cousin, uh, uh, food product um, out of Michigan, and the good old little hemp bag beaches very first very first hemp product awesomeness so there now, you I have teased it. it while you went out of the room i teased it a little bit what i suspect is probably your favorite segment of the show they're going to do what are you wearing beach and look at that it's true There's even a graphic for, for all awesome. of you out there wondering <laughs> what beach is wearing and uh, i promise in the future that I'm going to have a uh, maybe a little modeling video to go with what is beach wearing. Uh, nice. But today we're going to start uh, from head to toe uh, because beach wears hemp every day from head to toe. Um, and so for all those curious um, today, I, uh, I went a little newer with my hat, um, which is a no bad ideas hat. Uh, they're kind of a newer company. I want to say they're out of Indiana. I'm pretty sure they don't have a whole lot of hemp out there um, at the present moment. But uh, I really like this one. It kind of matches my outfit, which you kind of won't be able to see as much. Uh, but most of you that know me know that I do match. Um, my <laughs> shirt is a, a Young Maven, Young Maven t-shirt uh, that we printed. I'll try to turn so you can see it. That we printed actually here at Planet Everywhere. Um, Nice. These are the visc, yeah. These are the viscous hemp, and uh, it's very thin. Um, the viscous hemp is actually—I don't want to call it a synthetic, but they use the oil to make the thread, like you would make 
a synthetic fiber. So it's a it's not a synthetic fiber. It's an all natural fiber made from the oil of the plant. And of course, it is blended with cotton. Um, a lot of the clothing that we find, especially the shirts, uh, they have a little bit of a blend of cotton. We try to hope that that it's organic cotton. Um, for anybody who wants to know or needs to know, uh, hemp fiber is doesn't require any herbicides or pesticides. It's four to six times stronger than cotton, which is the leading producer or user of all chemicals for any one agricultural crop. Um, and so, you know, try to try to go organic cotton if you can, because that's clean, knowing that cotton is is one of the leading destroyers of our planet. Um, you know, and, and if you want to act like it doesn't exist, like climate change, then that's fine too. The co the cotton industry will love you for that. Um, but I'm not here to said, you know, I'm not here to, uh, <laughs> to, to put anybody else down. I'm here to talk about hemp. Um, and, and so, you know, that's, that's why the hemp fiber, uh, it was, it was probably the most important issue to me when we opened up is I wanted, I wanted hemp to be grown for the fiber. Um, we get down, you know, to what's going on here in the hemp news and you, you, you know, it's actually the last thing we're growing for, but that's, you know, it'll get there. We'll get there. You know, every little bit helps. Uh, I have a pair of hempy shorts on today, an old pair of cargo hempy shorts that looks still brand new. Um, I know you can't, I can't, uh, I don't think I can do it. Let me see if I can. Here we go. Here, here, my hempy's cargo shorts. <laughs> told you this is. Told you this is low budget, folks, and so uh, you know, that's uh, that's what you get there. Uh, best I can do. Um, hey, we're testing and, the water uh, with the new technology. We're that's, uh, that's we're right. Our way. I swear next week. Next week, I swear I'll have a full full page beach. Yes, um, before it's all said and done, we'll have so, runway and music and, and lights and smoke and the whole nine yards. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, episode twelve. I promise but, lights and smoke and runways and the whole everything, just all of it. <laughs> you you heard that, folks from from my producer and director. Uh, we're going to be having all of that. Um, and uh, under, underneath, <laughs> sorry, uh, underneath the hippie shorts, I am wearing a, a classic pair of headcase boxers. Um, headcase probably hasn't been around for ten years at least. They did hats and boxers. Uh, they. They used, uh, they like to call it stealth technology, and everything had a hidden pocket. So the boxers actually have a little, <laughs> their tag in the boxers is a little hidden pocket. If you, uh, you know, like to have things hidden in funny places. Um, and so, and their hats, I, I love their hats. They had a great line of hats back in the day, some that we couldn't keep in stock. They had an upside down cow hat that people just loved. They, they was, it was printed wrong originally. And they left the cow upside down on the hat, and it was like one of the one of the most popular hats we ever sold was the upside down <laughs> cow head case. Hat. So amazing stuff there. Uh, on my feet, um, I've got a pair of Adidas. That's right, Adidas. They drop four to six, eight maybe pairs of hemp shoes a year. Um, <laughs> these are a couple of years old, um, but it, a lot of times I actually have to go to Journeys or eBay. Ironically, eBay is a good source for new hemp shoes. Um, and so if you're looking for hemp shoes, uh, try there. Um, it's, it's, it's a good resource to find a lot of hemp products that, you know, honestly, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. Uh, but when I'm shopping for myself, uh, you know, that's one of the places that I look, Amazon actually has, uh, a lot of hemp clothing and, and all kinds of stuff as well that, that obviously I couldn't carry, but I'm glad they do. Um, and so, and then, uh, underneath that, I've got my little, my little footy black socks that came from Hemp Traders. Uh, hemp Traders is one of the largest importers of hemp fabric in the country. If you're looking for hemp fabric, uh, I would look into Hemp Traders uh, and uh, Enviro Textiles, which are the two honest big hemp fiber companies. Awesome. Hemp, head to toe with beach. And so there you have it, folks. We're having That's a, what Beach is wearing. Having a little bit of a glitching I, uh, from uh, from your end. I'm not sure why that is. Everything is good here, but again, uh, the, the uh, wonders of live video 
and uh maybe my technology. computer's going off offline there we go it's coming back a little bit there we go i think we're back <laughs> i was just mentioning again while you went out of the room about you know i was hoping that there wouldn't be any major major uh technical issues but um we are seeming to be getting some freezing and some glitching and that's annoying if anybody's uh if anybody's ever followed me in any other podcast form, you know the tech issues are my uh, my pet peeve. Uh, we do have Hemp right. coming up. We also have Ask Beach Anything. Uh, I think we have Beach Back. He's a live location from Temptations. <laughs> uh, am I back? There we go. Everything's good now. Yeah, the audio and the video is back and synced up and, and all that stuff. Uh, sorry about that. I'm glad that you didn't hear me cussing. Um, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> all right. Facebook does a friend well, on that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have thir- hit our 30 minute mark i wasn't sure we'd go this long but i am going to go ahead and address uh i'm going to head on to the hemp news segment and, and uh, address the another graphic hey, hey look Amazing. at that <laughs> i'm going to address the um the cbd issue in ohio uh some of you may or may not know they uh, Ohio MMJ and the uh, Board of Pharmacy just sent a letter out. Um, and, and the letter basically says we've had a lot of questions about CBD on its legality. And um, the letter states that CBD is not legal. And that is true from their point of view. Okay. The MMJ board and the pharmacy and all that that's linked up together, they are policymakers. And they're going on their policy that any CBD products that are extracted from marijuana or can of medicinal cannabis um, can only be sold in the dispensaries, which is nothing different than the DEA's view on CBD. If you ask the DEA whether CBD is legal, they will say no, because their view is that CBD is extracted from medical cannabis, what they call marijuana. Um, and so that that is their legal view of CBD. What they don't clarify, and the thing about this letter that was just sent out by uh, the MMM, MMJ board in Ohio is they separate hemp uh, hemp derived CBD from marijuana derived CBD in the letter. Two print there's parentheses around it. Okay, so they say CBD, and then in parentheses, the letter clearly states hemp or marijuana derived so they're clarifying that there are two different kinds of cbd in the same letter they only go on to tell you their definition of medical cbd because that's what they regulate okay the dispensaries in ohio are regulated by this board they're not lawmakers they're policy makers okay so this isn't law This is the one thing that I want to be clear on in the state of Ohio. CBD supplements have not been made illegal by the state of Ohio. Anything extracted from marijuana is still illegal in the state of Ohio. There's no different there. If I was extracting the CBD from what the government calls marijuana or medical cannabis uh, is what I count because it's all cannabis. Um, then of course that would be illegal and can only be regulated by Ohio's MMJ uh, board and pharmacy. Now, like I said, this affected Mary at Tohi because she is a licensed massage therapist. So she got a letter and this letter is even more confusing because they refer to it as hemp oil and CBD, which they can't make hemp oil illegal. Let's, it's the hemp food. And I already mentioned earlier that we sued the DEA (laughs) to make hemp food legal 10 years ago. So they can't actually make hemp oil illegal. And then they don't clarify, you know, the CBD part of it. And so it's, you know, it's very confusing and they're doing this on purpose. And, uh, you know, I will wholeheartedly admit that cleveland.com is only covering half of the story because they don't even understand what parentheses mean in a letter. (laughs) which I find very difficult to believe. Um, But it didn't take me very long uh, once I looked at the letter to realize that they in fact do 
differentiate between the two. Legal CBD, the CBD products we sell and have been selling for seven years plus now, before we started growing, CBD was imported. So it came through customs. The government allowed it in. It was a industrial hemp byproduct then as much as it's an industrial hemp byproduct now. So if you are growing your industrial hemp under what I mentioned earlier, the 2014 uh, industrial hemp um, section of the farm bill, federal farm bill, through a uh, department uh, of agriculture in your state or school of higher learning, then that CBD product is 100% legal. Anything that's being grown under those circumstances is 100% legal. They're supplements. We are, I can't give, we don't give medical advice at, in the store. If you walk into a store and they're selling supplements of any sort and they're giving you medical advice, that is not legal. I'm not a doctor. We don't employ doctors. Um, and, and so, you know, that's part of the confusion with the discussion when it comes to customers, that confuses a lot of customers, is that, uh, again, we can't give medical advice. Um, you know, we can we can tell you how other people use it. We can use testimonials. Like I said earlier, I use the cream on my back when my pain uh, acts up a little bit. We use uh, the tincture um, for anxiety, both in us, me as a human, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, our dog. You know, it's, uh, I joke, you know, this is the second time things have happened with the CBD industry, but with these announcements in the CBD industry, I have to double my intake of CBD because it makes me anxious. <laughs> um, and so, <laughs> you know, um, it, it is what it is, uh, but that's the difference. Nothing has changed. Uh, if you are selling anything in a store that's been extracted from marijuana, I don't care what it is, then of course it would be illegal. Uh, if you are selling, uh, anything in a store that's, uh, all natural and, uh, once again, a supplement, uh, extracted by, from legal purposes, then it's legal. Uh, you know, we're going to see how that goes down. I don't know. This board doesn't have any law enforcement. Uh, and so they can't, they can't, uh, enforce any laws, uh, so to speak, they don't they don't carry badges or guns, and so it's going to be local law enforcement. Or, you know, if they catch on to it, you know, we'll see because that's going to they're going to have to charge that person with marijuana possession, and then yeah. they're going to go to court and find out that that particular product tested negative for THC, <laughs> low enough that it's not a marijuana product, and then all of a sudden, once again, whatever, we're gonna, it's no different than busting somebody with a, a box of hemp crackers. And mm -hmm. saying those are illegal all of a sudden, you know, but there's no THC in them. And that's that's the thing with, with CBD. It's all po the 0.3% or less THC by dry weight when being grown. Um, and, and so I hope that clarifies uh, with everybody. I know that uh, you know, there's a lot of places in Ohio that are um, trying to figure it all out. Yeah. Uh, and so... You know, uh, we're going to keep doing what we do. I wholeheartedly, 100% believe that we are not doing anything illegal. Um, it doesn't mean they're not going to show up. Uh, you know, they're selling. They've got, there's a, a CBD kiosk in the mall here. And so, you know, if they're if they're really going to start doing something about it, um, that's going to that's going to be tough on them. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Uh, so there, there you go. There's my clarification. Uh, yes. There is a tale of two CBDs. There's marijuana derived or medical cannabis derived, and there's industrial hemp. One can be regulated through any type of dispensary in any state. The other is 100% legal for anyone to sell and possess. There you awesome. Go. Says, uh, um, there's definitely a much needed clarification. There's a lot of confusion surrounding, especially this issue. It's, uh, like you said, whether it's, you know, this website or that website or this newspaper or whatever, they all seem to have different stories. And uh, they all want to comment it, on it, too. So it just multiplies the amount of stories and the amount of angles and perspectives that that this comes with. I think that people definitely appreciate, you know, a little bit of clarification from someone who's in uh, the actual business of, of doing all this. And, I, you know, this is uh, I saw a statement from an attorney that said that the original letter, 
they may have actually violated the law by posing as enforcement, as an enforcement agency, which they are not. And so, you know, I don't know if anybody's going to take it that far. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's where we are with that issue. Uh, a couple other quick notes in hemp news and, uh, um, <clears throat> again, uh, the 2018 farm bill, if it passes with the hemp extension on it, and it was supposed to be voted on in the next couple of weeks, but they're pushing it back to October, possibly, um, we'll take industrial hemp off of the controlled substance list. And yeah. that will be huge. And so any one of the uh, 175 or so industrial hemp cultivars across the country or country, across the world, I'm sorry, um, will be able to be imported a lot easier. All the cultivars that we're working on now in the United States can, will be able to be traded. And, and I think that'll open up a huge market for the farmer that will no longer have to worry. I mean, you know, it's just one step closer to making industrial hemp just another choice for farmer to grow. Uh, just like all the other choices that they have. Uh, so we're really hoping that uh, that all that goes through. I think it's going to. I haven't heard any negative feedback uh, from Washington on the, the uh, industrial hemp uh, section of that um, uh, farm bill. And so, you know, we'll just keep our fingers crossed until they vote on it. Absolutely. Uh, Right now, we've got historical harvests going on uh, at the Henry Clay Estate in Lexington, the Whitehall Estate outside of Richmond, Kentucky, and the Mount Vernon, uh, Washington Estate, where they're growing hemp uh, down in Mount Vernon. They're growing it. Um, they're, they're taking the shocks out. They're showing how it was done back in the day and broken up. Uh, and it's really neat how they've embraced the industrial hemp part of it and how it was a huge part of our founding fathers' uh, you know, coming into uh, this existence, uh, you know, Thomas Jefferson as well. I didn't, haven't heard if they're growing uh, Jefferson's estate, um, but I hope they are. And I hope, I mean, if not, well. hopes they are soon. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got a couple of events. Uh, end of the month, we've got the Industrial Hemp Farm Summit, uh, September 29th. Uh, I've got tickets. Uh, you can get tickets on the hemptations.com website right over in our events and I'm going to try to post more links and stuff to events and stuff uh, that I am educating you on as well. Uh, I will be speaking at this event, uh, providing a hemp lunch in the hemp museum for people to walk through. Uh, that's in the middle of. Oh, there we go with the glitching again. <laughs> so that, uh, next. Um, so can uh, uh, Kentucky doing a greenhouse tour, and that's an event on fame, Facebook. I think if you just punch in "greenhouse tour 2018," that'll pop up. If you want, if you're interested in uh, going through an industrial hemp, uh, I assume that greenhouse they're probably growing for CBD uh, down in Lexington. So that looks kind of interesting. Uh, you have Hempex in Asheville, September 21st and 22nd at Franny's Farm. I was down there. Last year, Franny's Farm is just so awesome. You know, it's just this place outside of Asheville where they're doing regenerative farming and uh, all this really good earth-friendly kind of atmosphere, including growing industrial hemp, uh, building a structure with industrial hemp. Um, and so that's that's a really neat place. Uh, I know that's a, a, a really neat event. Uh, so that's HempX in Asheville, September 21st through the 22nd. Um, and I think that's about it uh, right now. I don't know if there's any questions out there. Um, uh, most I'm of the uh, stream. Yeah, most of the comments have been uh, Angela. Thank you for the uh, for the CBD uh, clarification. I will say again, I'm going to be posting threads of the Ask Beach anything on the Facebook pages. Make sure you put your questions in there so we can uh, we can answer them during the show. Um, I'm thinking Beach, and I think you probably agree with me that that might be a good place to leave it. Um, because we want this, yeah, this to so. kind of be like digestible for people, like in their lunch hour yeah. or yeah, or we went forty four minutes, so that's a, that's a real hour show with commercials. So I feel Absolutely. pretty good about that. But. Just pretend there was commercials, and then the hour's up, and your lunch is done, and you can go back to work. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every Wednesday noon, right here on the Hemptations Beach Facebook page, I think there's a way you can get notifications. Like there's a little bell I see. I think if you click that bell, it'll tell you like on your phone when the show starts live, or you can watch it, obviously, on demand. It'll be up 
be sharing it all over the place. I'll be cutting uh, clips out of it to, to, for even more digestible portions for people. And uh, but if you want to catch us live every Wednesday, noon Eastern, uh, Beach, anything you want to say to people before we uh, get out of here for episode one? No, I just want to uh, thank everybody out there for uh, for uh, stopping in, listening, watching later, whenever that may be. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. Make everything else out of him. Having Absolutely. temptations. Absolutely. Having temptations, aren't we all? <laughs> Beach, thank you. Everybody watched, thank you. Share, like, comment, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you all next week. <laughs>